Hello everyone. Uh, I am again back with uh, a new video in my channel. It's just regarding translating your program or changing any text in your program uh, in any language to a different language to a different set of words. That means consider in your report screen, standard report screen. I'm talking about. If in the standard report screen the uh, text whatever shows, you do not feel comfortable with them. You can change it as you wish. Uh, the steps are complex. I'll explain all the steps here, and you can just follow the steps, and uh, you will be able to change it. The first step would be going to AC38, and then clicking on uh, Go to, and then Translations. So this is not only way. You can go into the program and do the same steps, or you can go to the text elements or any text objects. Then. You can do the steps, or you can go via AC63 route. You can go to AC63. Then you have an option to select uh, translation, then map objects, <clears throat> then choose your uh, way. It could be short text, long text, or other text. Each of them have defined routes, defined uh, objects or programs. So if you're doing for a specific program, you can go to the program and do it. If you're doing for forms and all you can take the short route come to ac63 and do uh, select the form and go ahead it will end up in a screen uh, if it's a smart form it will end up in a screen like this now uh, you can enter you can enter the object name and uh, you can enter the source language and uh, destination language i mean target language whatever it is uh, so if you try to enter a smart form it will look like this uh, the above one will be uh, main language which the form is in and the below pale yellow color texts are referring to the translated language for this case it will be English and the above one is SL I guess that's Slovak Slovenian yeah so that's Slovenian so it's a translation from Slovenian to English if you're doing a for program front, if you come to uh, program, then go to translation, uh, you will end up to a screen like this. Here, there is a text field where you can enter your uh, translations. It will be here. You can enter it and then click on this green thing to uh, insert in the pool, and then you can click on the save button. If you save the button, there is a button above here. Uh, if you save it, it goes to the uh, pool and then you can come out. Now the next step would be go to SLXT that T uh, code for uh, uh, translations. The approach would be selecting the target language, whichever language your target uh, translations are targeting to. Create a request, you can check the request, create if you want to create a new, if you don't want, unselect it, select a transport, it will give you, uh, uh, it will give a closed text box that will have an F4 option to select one of them, you select one of them and then there is radio buttons above, here, individual languages, generic language transport, this should be checked, individual language and generic language transport. You should ideally do one by one language. First of all, you can do the first language. Maybe for, for us, it's English. Later on, you can do German or some other language, whatever it is. And uh, you can give the object type. As an example, for this case, the language is given, the new request description is given, and the object type is given. The processor who's doing the changes is given. So the system will try to find those object types which have been touched by this user ID. It will be a shorter space. Since a lot of people develop in same system, it's the easier path. Uh, it will go via the uh, user ID, check the development space for those object types. Uh, if there is any translation available for that language or not. If the translations are available, it will show up in this kind of page where the, all the conditions will be showing up on the selection used part 
and the results will be here with the transport request and number of objects number of keys so if everything goes, goes well like this if the screen comes up you know that your transport is filled with your translations you will be able to see something like this and uh, your um, all the translation is in transport you can move it ahead